and he came through and he started shooting like everyone in a, in a mosque, like, you know, everywhere. And they have to smash the door, the glass, uh, you know, from the window and from the door, there's a small door, smash it and to get everyone try to get out. After three, four minutes, uh, we heard, you know, the firing and it was from the main entrance, the main entrance of the building. And then everybody just run to the back doors just to save themselves. And uh, first we hide behind the cars and, you know, under the cars. And then when we see their firing still on, we try to, you know, jump the fence. I was uh, jumping uh, out of the wall and then I stayed there in a house and still we were uh, listening the gunfire, a loud sound, which was continuously happening for 10 to 15 minutes. I was thinking that he must run, must run out of bullets, you know. So what I did was basically waiting for that and praying to God, oh God, please, you know, let this guy run out of bullets. You don't think something like this could happen in New Zealand? Well, in Christchurch of all places, we're such a small community. We're so kind and loving, so I just don't understand why someone would hurt us like this and in such a way, just like an animal. Like, why would you treat us like that? We, we've done nothing, nothing wrong to you. What terrifies me is that there's people out there that are enjoying this or they're okay with this and they support this and it pushes their cause even more and I'm, I'm really scared for our future. I'm terrified. I, I don't know if I'm going to be feeling safe walking by myself wearing my headscarf. And I've never... Moments. Shoaib, first of all, uh, I just want to say I'm so, so deeply sorry for what you've experienced, for what your communities are going through right now. Um, as much as you're willing to share with us, please describe for me where you were when the shooting took place at your mosque. Well, I was in the middle of my prayers. It was just the starting of the prayers when I heard gunshots from outside the mosque, but we did not broke the prayer. We still continued to pray, but a brother, a brother standing near the window tried to look out the window and said, somebody, somebody shooting. But we still did not broke the prayer, but uh, he, then the shooter came to the left side of, there's a window on the left, and started shooting from the window. And I saw people dying, uh, falling on the floor with all bloods in their head. And everybody not, then knew that something is happening. I just so want to stop you one second, Shoaib. People standing next to you were shot and dropped yes, down yes, in front just, of you? Yes, just, just beside me. Just beside me. I was in the prayer and he just dropped down. And I was, and, and then everybody realized that something bad is happening. Because until we were hearing from outside, we did not broke the prayers. But when he came in there from the window, started shooting, people started to fall down on my left. And I was like, and everybody then fell down to the ground, started to crawl, save themselves. And I could see people getting shot in head, in legs, body, shoulders. I could see my friends getting shot and he could not do anything but to hide my face. I kept crawling towards the corner until I, I could see people getting shot beside me. I was just waiting when the bullet will hit me because it was going to hit me because it was hitting just by people are by my side. Why is it not going to hit me? So I just kept crawling, crawling. I saw a table in front of me when the shooting was still on people are crying and screaming. So I grabbed the table and went under it. And uh, I was really horrified. I could see people, you know, getting shot in the head. So I was really, uh, you know, I could not take that. So I closed my eyes and, and I put my head down and tried calling home because I wanted to talk home for one last time because I felt like I'm going to die. So I tried calling home, but nobody picked up at my place. And who, so who's at home? Re- who was at home that you were trying to call? Mother, my mother. And is your mother in Christchurch? No, 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 she, she's in India. Were, and you weren't able to get through to her? No, no, I could not. I could not. I tried to call my mother multiple times. Nobody picked up. I called my father. Nobody picked up. So I then I, you know, I had no choice. With that. I could look around. People were asking for help, help me. And I, they were bleeding. But I could not reach out to them because I thought that if I move out of the table, he might shoot me too. So I could just see them bleed, bleed to death. That's what I did. Eventually, I could have no choice but to see them dying. They were reaching out, but I could not help them. So I tried calling the ambulance. And um, the, um, uh, there was a lady on the other end of the phone. He, she asked me to stay online until the help arrived. So I stayed online. I could, I could still hear gunfights stirring, people hurt, getting hurt, women crying, screaming, getting shot, kids getting shot. And I was, I was, my head was down with the lady on the line saying, "Hang on, the help is coming." And I was just waiting if I get shot, or the help arrives. I got, you know, I just have to wait until, I, and I it did not move because if I would have moved or something, he might shoot me too. So I just 
kept my head down and some guy standing on the window just uh, screamed that police is here because he was he was able to look out through the window and so sure in situations really sorry sorry but in situations like this um it's difficult to measure time but just as best as you can between the moment that you heard some activity outside the window of the mosque and by the time the police arrived and the shooting stopped how long do you think that time frame was 10 ten, ten minutes it ten, was 10 minutes. minutes of shooting yeah no it's not 10 minutes of shooting uh, uh the shooter ran away a couple of minutes silence and then the police came and did the shooter say anything as he was carrying out this no, attack no nothing nothing at all a brother from mosques uh, said to me that he saw the shooter he was wearing a mask and he had a gun uh it, it was written welcome to hell on his gun that's what he said to me that's what he saw and what was going through your head in this moment i you know you always think of these moments as how hero heroic you can act when this thing some but nothing you can't do anything at all you just can see people dying in front of you and you try to save yourself i could see people getting shot in head brains out and i i just can't do anything you just don't know what to do but to save yourself and you don't even know how to save yourself so you just i just went under a table i was lucky enough to find a table i just went under it and kept kept my head down in you know and i kept my phone on with the lady on the phone and somebody shot then after a few minutes a lady shouted that police is here and the, the guy shouted that the police is here and uh, that was a relief but then police came in fired fired multiple shots probably that was police i thought this saw the gunman running and they shot him or they tried to chase him or whatever and then uh, and the swat came in with all their guns try to survey the whole mosque as just to put her hands up on the head stand up check us but then I, that is the moment when i stood up and see what is exactly happening the most i could see the carpets going red with blood with multiple dead bodies the police have put clothes on those old bodies i could see them one of i could see i could see multiple dead bodies and i could and then eventually uh, they put clothes on those dead bodies and uh, uh there were like five or six i saw people i saw it on my five or six people lying dead on the floor there were more though and a lot of people my one of my friend got hurt and uh, got a uh, got shot in his shoulder he was in hospital and one of my friend got shot in the back of the head he is no more he was uh, he died on spot